In this video, we're going to take a look at stitching leather. This is actually really important. You've got to get it right. There's people out there that use stitching ponies, two needles, all kinds of weird and wonderful things. I'm a very simple guy. I like to just use one needle. Uh, let me show you my technique. It might help a lot of the beginners out there. Let's take a look. G'day everyone, my name is Ben and welcome to Medieval Mayhem. G'day guys and welcome to Medieval Mayhem. On this channel you'll find lots of videos into the whole medieval period. You'll find reviews into other people's gear. You'll find crafting videos into making your own costumes. You'll find DIY videos into making your own furniture. You'll find how-to videos into all sorts of medieval camping and that kind of thing. We do videos for, we analyse historical events, what happened, who were the key players, and why did things turn out the way that they did. So if medieval is your thing, this is the channel for you and you might want to consider subscribing. In this video, a bit of a short one today, we're going to take a look at stitching leather. This is the very, very basic uh, stitching technique that I use 90% of the time. Uh, I do have some other techniques that I use for some of my other projects, um, but Typically speaking, this is the uh, the stitching technique that I use like 90% of the time. I know there are some people out there who use stitching ponies and, and some crazy people who use like two needles at once and all this kind of stuff. Uh, I, I don't, it's not for me, I don't do that. Uh, I, I like to keep things fairly simple. So let's take a look. Alrighty, so now we're going to put the buckle under the belt. Uh, so everything's preset, ready to go. The dry and the sealer are, sorry, the dye and the sealer are drying off. I use a blunt needle with a waxed linen thread. Now I know some people use stitching ponies, I know some people use two needles, I know uh, there's some, some crazy stuff getting around out there. Um, I'm a simple guy, I like simple things, so I'm just going to do this in a very simple way. Um, I just make a very small not, you don't need anything fantastic. So we're going to start on one side here. Now I'm going to leave the knot in the middle. That's fine, we can, we can trim that out. Now I just use a simple running stitch. Okay, and we go from, I guess, one side of the project to the other. Okay. Now what we should end up with is something that's going to look a lot like this. Now what I'm going to do is do pretty much the exact opposite and just sew back in the other direction. Okay, so now on each side that is going to look like this. We're just going to zoom in a little bit here. Right, so just zooming in so we can all see. So that's, that's pretty much now what we've got, okay? So this is one straight continuous line. This looks a lot like a saddle stitch uh, or a back stitch is a, uh, another very comparable stitch. Uh, and it's incredibly effective. So we're going to do two rows of that and that's going to be pretty much our stitching done.
Right, yeah. now we've got our two rows of stitching. That's how I do leather stitching, uh, especially for small projects like this, that's fine. It's, it's reasonably quick. This has taken me less than five minutes with changes to the camera and that's all squared away and done. So I'm really happy with that. Um, and it's an incredibly strong stitch. Now all I need to do is just to trim off the ends. For that, you can just use a blade uh, or a pair of scissors or whatever you've got and a cigarette lighter. Now, um, this was a waxed linen thread, so what that means is the thread will melt and there you go, done. I'm really happy with that. Really the last thing on our belt is the, the rivet. Well guys, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed today's video. Please like, subscribe and share. I'll catch you in my next video.